Hey everyone, Marion here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun video today for you guys that's totally different than anything I've done before. But basically, it is starting to almost be time to do some house hunting in our family. Um, we love our home and are truly thankful to be in it, but we don't consider it our forever home. And we want to be settled into a new home before Max starts kindergarten, which is still a few years away. But of course, it takes a really long time to find a house and sell a house and move, etc, etc. So right now, we're just getting a sense of like what different neighborhoods are like and how much houses are in each neighborhood and I saw what I think is my absolute dream home on the market and they have a open house right now so I told my husband I'm just gonna go see it <laughs> so we're definitely 100% not gonna buy this house <laughs> no we're not gonna buy this house but um, I just wanted to look at it and again I think this is like my dream home so it's good to know like what is out there what things cost what like is possible basically what's just way impossible too expensive etc okay that's enough laughing let's go see this dream home if you like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up because like I said we're just at the very very beginning of house hunting so if you guys are interested and like this I'll definitely film more and if you don't want to miss any of it then definitely subscribe to my channel I would love it if you did. I upload on Mondays and Thursdays and make videos about being a Jewish mom. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what I learned from the real estate agent and builder of the home. This is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. This is the half bath right as you come in off the entry. And just giving you my thoughts as I walk through. Uh, basically the home was built this year as brand new construction and it's about 5,000 square feet. When you first walk in, there's the stairs that go up to the second floor in the basement on your right. And then on the left is access to the garage and sort of a mudroom. And then this is the backyard. It was really, really small. There isn't even very much to show of it. So it's got like an eating kitchen. And then the kitchen had like a little eating kitchen area and then this beautiful island. I absolutely love the countertops. I think they were granite. <laughs> Perfect for my two-year-old. <laughs> had soft yeah. closed doors and all those sort of like high-end features you would expect or want from a brand new million dollar home. Um, the lighting underneath the cabinet so you don't see it, those kind of just like little details that made it really pretty. I loved the black splash here. I thought it was gorgeous. And the double oven, the brand new sink and all the appliances, etc., were all gorgeous. But I did think that the island was very small, um, especially for the size of the home. Family room. Butler's pantry. Wow. Because, yeah, the kitchen itself is not huge, but then when you come around here, then yeah. there's all this extra. Okay, so this is the mudroom area that goes out to the garage. It has a really nice amount of space, but it's kind of in a weird place because it's right next to the garage, but it's not next to the front door. So I guess it depends like which entryway you're mostly coming in from. And then the garage was really big, if you guys look at this. But it fits two cars, but they have to be front to back, or however you call it. They have to be like one in front of the other. Okay, this is the basement. So it's got a whole bedroom and let's see what this is. Oh, utilities. Oh, a really nice bathroom. Oh, and a really big basement space. This would be a great playroom. So this is the next level. bedroom here with really pretty views. Oh, this is a closet, huge closet. And then a Jack and Jill bathroom. That's really beautiful. What do you guys think so far? And then another bedroom, really pretty. Oh, 
laundry room on the main level of the bedrooms. That is my freaking dreams. And then it goes right into the master bedroom. Are you guys ready for this master bath? It is gorgeous. And also I love the double doors into the master. That is so nice. This is just one of the master classes. There's two. So that's the second one. And a look at this bathroom water closet. Look at this. So pretty. It's beautiful soaking tub. And then, yeah, two sinks. That's really nice. And another bedroom with a This is the loft. Another bathroom. So this is like a bedroom in the loft. It could be a playroom, I guess, or like an office study space would be, oh my God, an office. <sighs> Just the idea of being able to work in here. Okay, so I just got finished at the open house. What did you guys think? Tell me in the comments. So I live on the East Coast near Washington, D.C., and the housing prices are really expensive. So that home was over a million dollars, well over a million dollars, and and I would say it was not my dream home. First of all, the backyard was way too small. I mean, we have two dogs and two little boys, so we need a lot more room in the backyard. And that's something about the house you just can't ever fix, and that's like the big thing for me in our forever home is not buying house that has something that can't be fixed like if the kitchen's bad or the bathrooms are bad or all that stuff if it's a forever home we can always like save money even if it takes 10 20 years to fix like we could do it one day but if the backyard's too small and there's houses behind it that's something that can never be changed so that for me was pretty much a deal breaker the other thing that was a deal breaker for me was there wasn't really a formal dining room. The builder slash realtor guy was saying that that front room, which to me is more like a formal sitting room or maybe a playroom area, um, could be a formal dining room. And I, I can see how that would be, but to me that's just weird to have like your formal dining room right there. I don't know. Maybe it's not because it's like open to the whole house and there's no like sitting room then. I don't know. You guys are like, she's crazy. I would love that to be a library. I don't know. That just, that thought just went in my head. But the bathrooms were gorgeous. The master was really nice. That closet, there was so much closet space. I don't need that much closet space. If you guys have seen my closet Melissa videos, you know I do not need a closet like that. Um, but the master bath was gorgeous. And the, I love the like double doors into the master bedroom was really nice. And the loft was nice. That open like area with the wood floor in the loft, I felt like probably wasn't that nice usable space I don't know what do you guys think of that but then the um little office or playroom area in the loft was really nice the idea of like working in that little area made my heart happy but the kitchen also it was nice but it didn't feel that big to me I think like I really want a huge island I mean we love to entertain we love to host and to me the island was just a little bit small for like a dream kitchen now that is something that could be changed I guess in the future but I mean it's a brand new kitchen so it seems kind of crazy to think about changing the island but it did have that beautiful butler's pantry and then like the regular pantry was really really nice too but when I first entered the house I was like whoa the kitchen's really small I don't know if anyone else had that thought um but the fireplace was really beautiful and uh, yeah I thought a lot of the touches were nice the basement was nice but 
all in all, I don't think it was my dream home. It was so, so, so expensive. OMG. That is just like way, way, way crazy expensive. But even if it was like perfectly priced, I I don't think it's my dream home. Not the house for me. We're going to have to keep looking. So if you guys want to join in for the ride, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.